But anybody can sound like Serpy, you know. Even me can sound like Serpy. Lords, don't you see that Wiz is the enemy of the state? Trying to put a wrench into our mission to make Jamaica a better place. So let me make a video to try to clarify my previous video. So most of you, if you haven't seen that video, I would definitely suggest that you go back to my page and watch that video in its entirety. So let me start off early and say, yo, I do not hate Sir P or want Sir P's channel to get blacklisted or to cancel Sir P or to put Sir P's life in danger. All of them things, I've making this claim up very clear. In the early part of the video, because I know most people won't watch out the entire thing. So I understand the work that Sir P does. I'm going to understand that if I'm showing face in life and I'm going to danger in family, I'm going to danger in friends, I'm going to danger. I understand that. I um, understand that some people that say the work of Sir P do is very important. I would have said it's really unfortunate where the justice system in Jamaica is so horrible that we need a vigilante to clean up things, right? Because Sir P is a vigilante. Clearly, somebody who works yeah. closely with the law or him interact or him see a lot of crime in in him in in lifetime and him get frustrated and fed up and decide to make a, a platform dedicated entirely you can go you can go yeah so i'm decided to make a platform dedicated entirely to cleaning up the society and the, the, the corruption in a, in a jamaica right so i just want to make it clear so i understand the work I understand the work that sir, sir p does i'm um, not try to tear down the platform so much time i say it but also I try to explain to the people and say, yo, we deal with more critical thinking. Later they have some funds, I'm gonna have no kind or nothing, sir. Damn. I'm sorry, uh, no cash, no cash, I'm sorry. Yeah, so we understand that Sir P, so the work that Sir P does is very important to, to a lot of people. I'm gonna try to discredit the credibility or nothing like that um, of Sir P. I wanna make it clear. What I am doing is just doing like critical thinking. All right. But I try to express to you guys why I cannot follow a platform blindly or believe a hundred percent. The only person I would believe or follow a hundred percent like that is Jesus. There's a man, one of the only perfect innocent person who walk this earth. It's like you guys are asking me, you know, to put my faith a hundred percent in Sir P, right? It's credible. Properly vetted, witness and everybody, everybody make sure say yo, them statement is a hundred percent accurate. This is what you guys are asking me. You know, man, I said the man work, um, you no know, credible. Man, I said in the put out some information with gossip, cause some of the time you hear certain things by the streets. Um, you know what I mean? Shop talk and certain things we hear certain things, right? So, man, I try to say everything about the man channel is bad. What I try to do is just look at it from a different perspective, right? from like a national security standpoint. I'm going to use the recent banning of TikTok for kind of bring home a point. All right, so stick with it. Who realize why the US government decided to ban TikTok? I'm going to see if you want to follow along. So just drop a comment if you reach this far in the video, all right? Because TikTok, you know, it's something we have so much positive. It feed a lot of people, yo. It give a lot of people opportunities. People who would have never normally become rich, them rich now and able to take care of them family and create generational wealth right business places sales increase um people who don't know normally have an audience them have an audience now and the list goes on and on and on and on there's so much positive that we can list out with tiktok so why is the u.s government deciding to ban tiktok right it is because you can't put the influence into an external country a country which is not of u.s right so the u.s decides that how can we have an asian company controlling our citizens because what TikTok have over 160 million followers, right? Our users. And most of them come from US, Canada, um, Europe, you name it. But the US decides, all right, this thing, we can't trust that the information with them together, they won't use it against us. And we can't, we can't trust that they won't weaponize their own citizen against them. Because my mind, TikTok get banned. You know, them say, all right, you have six months to sell TikTok or the platform will get banned, right? You have six months to sell it to somebody which is local or none of our US users won't be able to log on to the platform, right? I have to realize that, yo, by them doing that, you know, the first thing TikTok did was made a statement. I urged the users, them in the US, to try, I won't say go against the system in the US, but to try 
sign petition and do all type of things you know so you say yo the users can be weaponized right the users on TikTok, because they love the platform so much, they will, they will literally ignore the laws of the government, right? Because clearly, they're benefiting from the platform. So, they're going to say, what the government do for me? I see what TikTok do for me. TikTok make me rich. So, we're going to work with what TikTok I say. Do you guys see how damaging that would be, right? That would be a national security. And that is the standpoint where the US government are looking for the whole thing from. And that is literally where I look for it from with SRP as well. Say, so for example, SRP audience now. Sir P audience is so tuned in. Everything with Sir P said, them decide to carry it out as law. Can you imagine a world where that would have been? Say, for example, somebody decides, all right, I'm going to follow Sir P lead. Everybody with Sir P talk about, me, I'm going to just suit up and I'm going to try to go out and run about these people because these people are criminals, right? You understand what I say? Can you imagine a world where vigilante just pop up and decides, all right, we're not going to work with the law, with the police, them, and the justice system. We're going to take justice now with our own hands. Right? Everybody suit up like Batman and Superman in a cape and all type of things now and say they're gonna fight crime. And then now innocent people are gonna suffer because someone point a finger. Can you imagine? Remember saying no, Sir P's channel is a robot voice, right? Can you imagine if them infiltrate Sir P's platform? But anybody can sound like Sir P now, even we can sound like Sir P. Yours. Don't you see that Wiz is an enemy of the state? Trying to put a wrench into our mission to make Jamaica a better place. You see, anybody can sound like Sir P. What if one day somebody infiltrate the, the platform, take it over and start putting out information? You can weaponize a platform like that if it's not like controlled, right? Or we don't have a hundred percent. Like this, this is the problem when we're having a, we don't have a hundred percent surety that the platform or the person running the platform is gonna follow the books, buy the books. We have to trust this person a hundred percent. We say, all right, whatever I put out. Because sir, people put out the information, you know. All right, so I'm talking about the, I'm talking about the, the director from Bright Light. I put out and say, yo, the director allegedly, come here and say allegedly, all right, from my platform. Sir P did not say allegedly. He said, without a shadow of a doubt, say, this is what the director do. So imagine sir, people putting out that information now, and then everybody going to look upon the director like he's a criminal. That can cripple a business completely, you know. People might not look upon it because of your name, call because your photo did not come up in the recent video. People won't offer the same sympathy about make one day you watch and see your face and see if you're gonna be as objective and say yes, sir PS are the truth, right? People if I understand say yo, this can cripple a business place. Like people can decide to them like a boycott because they believe that the information is true, right? There's no investigation that was done. And this is my whole thinking. I not mean, I mean, I say the platform for tear down. I understand me as a people, but must look upon it from a national security standpoint. I now say the platform is bad. I now say the man's intention is not good. It's just that because I don't know the person. Remember, you know, the only way I really trust Sir P say, all right, yo, this man believing that everything we must say is if all I'm earnings from that platform was going towards fighting crime. So him, him donate. Every, every money we make a month time, him donate it. Or if it's a case where there was no money being made any at all, the channel was not monetized. I mean, I say, all right, this work is definitely coming from, from the heart right now. This person definitely not have no ulterior motive. There's no hidden hidden anything behind it. There's no monetary gain or nothing. Then we just say, all right, no, we can't trust a brother because him decides, yo, I want our hero right now. Put him for one of the kind them or something. Sir P, for one of the money them because he's a real national hero. But you have to remember there's monetary gain. The channel is monetized, so he's making money. So we can't trust the intention 100%. Now, when I want to get to me, I said, I'm going to try to bad mind the man money, like when I said in the comment section. I'm going to pack it, watch and none of that. I'm just looking at it from an objective standpoint. Alright? The platform can be weaponized if, if we don't trust. Say for example, though, one day I decide to say, yo, I've seen enough. I've seen enough of this corruption. I'm not gonna, you know what? If I can't beat them, join them. And then now, I start collecting money from people now for point fingers from people for, for, for completely shatter them reputation. Imagine. God forbid. I'm not even say that I'm or accuse them of that. I'm just saying, if it's a possibility, it means it can't happen. That is why the word if was invented. All right? It's a possibility. So it's either when I go say, I want to trust this man like Jesus. He said, all right, Sir P would never do something like that. But I, I don't know the person. I mean, I love to have that much faith into Sir P. He said, all right, Sir P would never do that. I mean, can't put my head on the block for Sir P. But I say, a lot of when I put my head on the block, I say, yo, Sir P would never do this and he would never do this and he would always get the information and the information is always correct. 
that is what I did to bring across to them. I never did say, don't believe in Serpy. I said, whoever you want to believe or follow a year of business that. But I said, my mindset and my critical thinking is that I don't want to ever be mis misled. Right? In the name of justice, I don't want to be misled. I said, alright, judge an innocent person. That person is always innocent until you can prove that the person guilty. You know? Alright? I'm a no. Say, not because the court never find him guilty doesn't mean they never do it. But no, that is not the case. And I'm not naive or nothing still. We don't want to say it work. A person can get off a trial and everything and I'm guilty. It's up to the laws of the land to figure out what happened. But I'm saying though, how can I be sure? How can I start looking at everybody where in a surfy video, I'm going to start looking at them as criminals. How can I be sure? And that has always been my problem with the platform. And that more to make people understand. It might sound like say, yo, I try to tear down the platform or anything. That's not the case. I just explain, because you know, my platform now is about critical thinking, it's about giving my opinion, and this is my opinion for the matter where I just can't dive head first and I say, alright, I believe in Serpy's platform 100%. His intentions can be the best and the purest, but we don't know if the vetting process was done thoroughly, we don't know if, if, if biasness was involved, we don't know if a lot of hearsay is involved, because a lot of the, a lot of the content we know say, yo, we hear somebody's on the street. And I know some folk tale what we hear from ever since. So we don't know. But I say, how can you guys be sure? Because a lot of people are pointing fingers and, and I say, yo, this man is guilty and that man is guilty. And we don't know if vigilantes are going to start carry out community justice and take up justice on them own, and, which is very damaging, which is a big problem, which is even a bigger problem than criminals. Because if you have innocent people out there who commit criminal offense, that is worse than the criminal themselves. Right? Because they're going to say, yo, we are doing this killing in the name of justice. So can you imagine that? So that's something I, I look on. Um, I know I wouldn't really like when people go against the mass, but I just, that's my thinking what, towards the whole thing. But yo, when I ask the Serp is a bad guy, we can definitely tell him passionate about the whole thing. And we can definitely say, say yo, the thing them hurt him, but we just okay. make sure say yo, the process is being done correctly. Okay. That's all I want. All right? So, yeah, man, I just, my video must give my little two cents towards this whole thing. Alright, so people, well.